Welcome back everybody! This is episode number 7 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started! So in this tutorial and in the next few ones, we are going to start looking at the hardware side of Arduino and start to create circuits. To create a circuit, we are going to use a component called a breadboard and in this video I'm going to explain to you how it works. And to explain that, I'm going to use a real physical breadboard, of course, but also an online simulation called Tinkercad, because with this interface, you're going to understand better and faster. So you don't need the simulation, but if you also want to get it, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So everything is in a web browser and everything is free. You just type Tinkercad on Google like this, and you go on tinkercad.com. Okay, you have the URL and you will get to a page similar to this and you can just click here um, on join now okay and create your account so create a personal account and then well you can just sign up with email google apple or well whatever you want and then once you have successfully signed up and you have also signed in well you will get to this you go simply on the circuit menu okay i already have many circuits here but for you it's going to be empty and you click on create new circuit and that's from where I'm going to start the explanations. A breadboard is a super useful tool to prototype any circuit with your Arduino. Without a breadboard, you would have to solder all components in a circuit so they can connect between each other. And then again, for each modification you make on the circuit. As you can guess, this would quickly be messy and non-reliable. The breadboard allows you to connect all your components with your Arduino and between each other in an easy and practical way. Then, modifying the circuit can be as short as a few seconds. So, how does the breadboard work? Let's have a look with the Tinkercad simulation here, and then I will show you with the real physical breadboard. So, on Tinkercad, you simply go on the component on the right here, and you can start to search for breadboard. You have, so you have different kinds of breadboards, Basically, they are all the same. You can have a small one and a breadboard. So this is the standard one. So standard size and this is half the size of a normal breadboard. So as you can see, there are many holes here where you can connect wires and components. And what you need to know is that underneath the surface, there are some metallic wires between some of the holes of the board which make them electrically connected. So the most important thing to learn here is how those points are connected between each other. And you will see it's actually quite simple. And with the Tinkercad simulation, we get a very good and simple overview to understand that. So first of all, you can see that here you have two lines. So you have a plus and minus line, or it can be red or blue. Okay, you have the same on the small breadboard. And those two lines will be used for, so the plus or the red one will be used for power supply, and the minus or the blue or dark one will be used for the ground. So the ground of the circuit is basically a common point between all of your components, and that's very important, so you can have a reference point for any voltage in your circuit. So as you can see here, I'm going to zoom a little bit. When I choose one of the dots here, you can see all the dots here connected in the green line so are the same dots. So if I connect something here, or if I connect something here, that's the same. Okay, so everything you connect on this line will be connected to all of the other components on this line. And the same happens for this line here. But as you can see, the first and the second line are independent. So one line for ground, one line for power supply. And you have the same here, okay, power supply and ground. And on the small breadboard, that's the same. You have ground power supply here and ground power supply here. And then you have many different lines of dots. And as you can see here, the dots are connected vertically here. So on a normal breadboard, you have about 60 something different lines where you can connect components. 
So if you connect a component here on that point, that will be the same as here. So if you connect two components on that point, they will be connected together. If you connect one component here and one component here, they are separate. And you can see we have all this part here and all this part on the top is exactly the same, okay? But this, as you can see here, we have five connected dots, okay? Those are five different connected dots. And with all of those dots here, you will be able to create any circuit you want. So the most important thing to remember is you have a ground line, a power supply line, and then many different lines, okay, that you can use for your components. If you have any doubt, just go to the Tinkercad and use a breadboard from the components and you will see it's very easy to check what is connected to what. So here is my physical breadboard. So maybe you have something similar. So this is the exact same thing as I showed you on Tinkercad. You have here, so we have two lines. We have the plus line and the minus line. So all the dots in this line are connected together. All the dots in the minus line are connected together. You have the exact same on the top if you need to. And then we have many different lines here that you will use to connect your components. So for example, on line here 45, all of the five dots that you see here are connected together. And well, that's pretty much it. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.